ET News to inform you tonight. Let's get started. So how confident are you that the rice on your plate is Kenyan Pishori rice? Well, some traders in Mwea say there is a likelihood that it is not. They're complaining about the high importation of rice at the expense of local farmers and traders. They claim that some rice is sprayed to dupe consumers that it is Kenyan Pishori rice. Ibrahim Karanja begins our comprehensive news coverage tonight with this story. Every time Jane and Jage heard the sounds of this machine fill the air here at nice rice millers in Moya. Every time she'd look at the mortars rolling. Every time she'd see these young men put sacks of rice on their back and transporting them from the processing point to the point of sale. She knew only too well that meant good business and she wouldn't be seated here idling away her time. But not anymore. Jen is now a worried woman. Many other business people expressing the same sentiments. According to them, local rice is no longer selling, and when it does, they end up earning peanuts. Their greatest enemy, they say, is a group of unscrupulous business people who allegedly import rice, threatening their businesses. Yes, I atuna customers when he sana, for sababu atunja njua sani nini, but tunaskia mchele ya inje inakunja mingi, na inaafekti sisi kama wakurima, pia na watu wakumil mchele tunakua affected. Rice prices in the market have subsequently been altered. The produce, they say, no longer earns them a decent amount to settle the cost of production and make profits. Mchele kwa kilomonja 130, na hiyo ingine ni chini ya mia. Kwa hivo... So days in Moya and other rice growing areas in the region are quickly becoming longer, with despair first becoming synonymous with these people. Ibrahim Karanja, KTN News. I think I'm terrified of rice now. Well, it's definitely something we'll have to delve deeper later on, but many thanks, Ibrahim Karanja.